Hey guys, so you've noticed that you've installed your doorknob and the lock is upside down. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what you want to do is if you notice here on the doorknob, you see the on the left, the door is there, is, is closed. On the other side, the door is open. So what you want to do is mess with this tab. Uh, so what you got to do is you got to push it back to open the door. So if you take this size screwdriver and you jam it in there, and then basically that pipe, the tube on the side actually holds it in place. So put the widest part of the screwdriver, not this neck part, so this widest part in there. And then you'll see that the door is open now. And now you can take out this black pin or tube and we can move on from there. So I'm gonna show you another way with the spring. So here's another alternative way to do this. If you're having trouble with like the screwdriver method and you're trying to push this tab this way and you're trying to get the, the pin out or the barrel out here in the black, and the screwdriver just keeps falling out. So another way you could do this is this spring here um, is basically you know pushing this tab out. So what you can do is you can just take a flathead and move this spring off of the tab. So move it down here, and it'll obviously get stuck by this this side of the doorknob that screw, that you screw into the other side of the door doorknob. So if you pull this down and it comes out, um, this will hold it, and basically it does the same thing as pushing the tab forward and jamming a screwdriver in there. So when you do that, the door will open and it'll stay open. And then you don't have to deal with a screwdriver sitting here. You just have a spring sitting here and then you can do the rest of the tutorial where you take the two screwdrivers and pop out the actual lock down here. And then once you're done with that, you you know get the actual lock piece out. Then what you need to do is just take the spring that's gonna be down here and it's gonna be stuck against this just take your flat head and push it back under this tab here so it's, you know, that the tab is holding it. And then that's all you need to do. It's the exact same thing as pushing the tab in. So let's uh, get back to the rest of the tutorial. So decide which way you want to do it, which way is easier if the, you know, screwdriver keeps falling out on you. So go ahead and take out this pin or black tube now. So what you want to do is twist it. Uh, so the, the nub is parallel to the door and then you can pull it out. This should be very easy. If it's not, if it's, if you're fighting it, that means that the door is not open. So you need to go back to the tab step. So now I'm going to show you the lock. So it's actually held into the doorknob by these two, uh, you know, metal tabs and they're spring loaded on each side. So that's how it's held in. So we need to use our screwdrivers and pop it out simultaneously. So that, this is one of the tabs here on the throat side of the door, the door lock, the doorknob. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two skinny screwdrivers and jam it on both sides of those tabs and then push it out simultaneously, like I said. So go ahead and take a skinny screwdriver and get it behind that tab and push it in there. You'll feel it you know, behind the actual tab and then do the same thing on the other side with the longer skinny screwdriver. And once you get it, you'll feel it pop. So try and push both screwdrivers at once and it'll pop out like that. Then it's just put everything back together. So let's put this pin or black tube back in with the door open. You can actually just leave it or you can twist it if you want, it doesn't matter. Then pull out the screwdriver so it's locked in there. And then what we're gonna do is just reinstall the doorknob and then we can figure out which side the lock should go on. So put you know lock side of the doorknob on, put the inside of the doorknob on. Go ahead and put your screws in. I like lining it all up like that and looking directly down the, the doorknob so I can see what's going on. So start them both with by hand and then use your screwdriver or if you have a drill that'll save you some time and screw those both in tight. And then once we've done that, it's simply just look at the door and put in the lock piece right side up so you're good to go. And then that's basically it. So go ahead and make sure you test the door uh, the doorknob, make sure it works. So you can put in the key if you want. I have it unlocked right now. Check the lock on the other side, lock it, make sure it locks, and that's it. So I hope that helped you.